One of the most important phrases when it comes to productivity is automate, delegate, eliminate. Meaning that in order to be as productive as possible, everything that you can automate, automate it. Everything that you can't automate, delegate it to somebody else. And if it can't be done in either of those, get rid of it, if possible. And for me, I'm always looking for AI tools that do that first thing, automate. Ensuring that I, as a human, don't have to go and manually do all these processes that are bogging down my time and taking up space in my brain when I could just set up a system once and have that system run forever for me and just work properly. Streamlining my processes and making my life just so much more productive. We've got five to go over today, but the first one up is Zapier. Now, jumping right into Zapier here, there are literally thousands of apps that you can connect. You can take any sort of trigger. You get an email, a form is filled out, somebody makes a purchase in your store. Using Zapier, you can take literally anything and make an automated process out of it. If somebody makes a payment on your web app, for example, send an email to them, thanking them for their purchase. Or maybe let people know in a Slack channel that a purchase has been made. The point is, just scrolling through here, you can see the thousands of apps available in the thousands of app categories. This is just with the Facebook integrations alone. We've got Facebook leads, Facebook pages, Instagram, Facebook conversions, Zapier interfaces, Messenger. With Zapier, you can automate thousands of your online tasks easily in just a few simple minutes and it'll save you thousands of hours of time in the long run because instead of you having to go do something like making sure that when you receive a message on Facebook that that person's entered into your CRM again you can see throughout this entire process where the automation comes into play but let's actually create one so we're going to go ahead and create a new zap here and we'll just simply hit that create button and we can see here that there's actually a copilot built in when I add a reaction to a slack message create a card control I'll say when I receive a message. So instead of going through the whole process of walking you through step by step on how to use Zapier, which we have a video for on the channel, I'm just going to simply enter when I receive a message in Facebook Messenger, send a message to my Slack team, then an email to my stakeholders, then if they entered the word leads, send them a PDF document from Google Docs. And we hit enter. Now what's going to happen? I just simply described the process in which I wanted to automate all these steps. Of course, all these things I would normally have to do by myself but we want to have happen automatically. Boom. When a new message is sent to our page on Facebook, we want to send a channel message in Slack and then using email by Zapier, send an outbound email. And then we're going to run some code to check to make sure that the word leads was in their message. And then we're going to upload that document from our template on Google. And then we're gonna actually create that document. And just like that, the entire process has been automated for me. Of course, I can go through here and make customizations at every step, you know, signing in with the correct page, making sure that the actual Slack message channel is set up correctly, making sure the email is customized, how I want it to look, what kind of document do I wanna have if I have a template already set up. The entire process is already automated for me and the steps in which I have to do to actually get this set up are very minuscule. With Zapier Automations, it's honestly not a big learning curve in order to optimize your productivity because you set up those systems once and they just work forever. That's the best part. Now, before we get into our second one here, I do wanna give a quick shout out to our AI newsletter, Neural Frontier. We publish it weekly here, and it basically tells you all the latest tips and tricks, news, updates, and tools about AI and tech things that are in the space. So if this sort of thing interests you, I highly encourage you to go down in the description below and click on the link and sign up to the newsletter. With that being said, let's get into our second one here. So as you can already tell from this video, we're gonna be following a theme of automation. And Microsoft has their own version of Zapier called Power Automate that is integrated with all of your Microsoft products, Excel, Docs, PowerPoint, everything. And we can see here that just by scrolling through the processes, it's the exact same. They call it, instead of a zap, they call it a flow. You can orchestrate, confidently scale automation across your organization. But what does this all mean? Well, let's create one. Jumping in here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new flow. And we can see here we have automated cloud flows triggered by a specific event. So say a file gets uploaded in OneDrive, well, I should be sending an email or creating a new document or creating a new spreadsheet whatever that might be. Instant cloud flow, which means that it's only triggered when I press the trigger button. We should have a scheduled cloud flow so that at a specific time each day, we should send out an email. Desktop flow, which we can actually have connected to our desktop or process mining, which automatically looks at all of our flows and determines what ones can be more efficient. We have things here like follow up on a message, schedule a reply. So let's just use one of these simple ones here. Create an Asana task from a message. Notify a chat when planner tasks to change status. Find a meeting time with sender. That one looks good. So if we click on that one here, we can see that on Microsoft Teams, it's gonna connect 365 users and Outlook, which means that it'll automatically find a meeting time and schedule a quick meeting with the message sender. The flow books the best available slot 
and lets you know or informs you that it couldn't find time. It's pretty simple. Just like Zapier, Microsoft Power Automate also connects to thousands of other apps, but it's really, really good for Microsoft products specifically. So as you can see here, we have all of our things that you would typically expect to find in the Microsoft space, SharePoint, OneDrive for Business, Teams, but it also connects to Google Calendar, Google Drive, GitHub, and all of those other ones that you would typically expect to see. There are literally thousands of apps that you can connect here. Now, for the most part, you can get away with a lot on the free plan. A lot of these are automatically included, but you will need some sort of paid Microsoft plan if you wanna use Azure DevOps, SQL Server, Azure Applications, those sort of things for more higher level scale application automations. But I mean, at that point, the money that you're gonna be saving by paying, you know, $10, $20 a month for that Microsoft automation package is going to be so much more than the overhead you'd have to pay to have somebody else do those tasks for you on a daily basis. Now, another one, if you're looking for a Zapier alternative is called Integrately. It has 20 million plus ready automations for 1200 plus apps. All you need to do is select the automation and activate it. That's it. It works very similarly to Zapier and combines a lot of other automation tools into one platform. As you can see here, we have 1200 plus apps, MailChimp, Calendly, ConvertKit, all the ones that you would typically expect to see. Anywhere where a process that could be manually done by a human could be replaced by an automation, this application has. So does Zapier, so does Power Automate. The main differences between these are the way the interfaces are set up and which the best are connecting with specific apps. Zapier is probably the best in terms of connecting with as many apps as possible. Integrately is great for having a Zapier alternative. It has less apps, but it still has all the main ones. And Microsoft Power Automate so far is just the best for Microsoft products, obviously. The main difference here with Integrately is that it acknowledges that automation tools are complex. So it gives you lots of pre-made automations. If the whole process looked complicated earlier where I was going and setting up the Zap manually, well, this has a lot of pre-made automations so you can simply click on them and set them up. We have over 200,000 automations for ClickUp, 264,000 automations for Excel, 110 for MailChimp. There are automations even for new apps. So if you're someone who just wants the process of setting these up, but not really spending a lot of time setting them up, Integrately is a great tool for actually having those one-click apps to set everything up for you so that you don't have to spend a lot of time on it, but you can still reap those benefits of having all those automations set up for you. Much like the other tools, it automatically connects to your apps. When a deal is created in the company hub, create customers in Zoho books, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can select your automation, connect your accounts, and the automations are pretty much simply made for you. It is a great Zapier alternative, and if you're someone who's looking for a little bit cheaper of an alternative to Zapier or Power Automate, this would be one that I definitely recommend. Now, another huge one in the space here is called make.com, which allows you to design workflows that work a little bit differently than what you've seen with Zapier or Power Automate or really any of the automation tools that I've covered thus far, in that it allows you to visualize it in the best way possible. You get to view your whole flow as a graph. As we can see here, when somebody fills out a form and the form is submitted, what do we do? Well, we automatically fulfill a couple things. First of all, notify the team, new message. We create the record and then we send an email. All these processes are laid out very similarly to the other automation tools, but you can visualize it a lot better because it looks just like a graph. But my favorite part about make.com would definitely have to be the fact that it has a free plan that doesn't make you start a free trial. You don't have to put in any credit card details and the free plan has no time limits on going and creating all these things. And it also claims to replace Zapier, Workato and Trade.io, which are other popular productivity automation tools. Just like the other automation tools on our list, make.com also comes with a bunch of templates. So you can start with sending a Gmail message from a Facebook lead, adding Slack client info with email to Google, adding a completed ClickUp task to Airtable, those sorts of things. Doesn't matter if it's marketing, sales, operations, people, whatever. You can automate it using make.com. And the way that it works is a lot more streamlined to other automation tools. So if you're a beginner to this sort of thing, I definitely recommend going with them. But if you're looking for as simple of an automation tool as physically possible, and you don't have your own business, you don't have Facebook leads, you don't have all these other big business grade apps, and you just wanna automate a few things for your own personal productivity, if this then that is probably the best for business and home. Basically making it so that you can save time and effort spent on things as simple as checking the weather. Say for example, you wake up one morning and it's gonna rain. Well, if this then that can automatically check your weather in your local area every morning at 7 a.m. and say, oh, it's gonna rain. You should probably pack a raincoat, that sort of thing. Saving you time and all those micro interactions where you need to figure things out. You can update your Android wallpaper with NASA's image of the day, tweet your Instagrams as native photos on Twitter. Just save yourself time and those minuscule things 
things that you might not think about day to day, but stack up to a lot of time as the years go by. And just like the other automation tools on this page, there are over 900 services to connect from, from webhooks to Blogger, Google Calendar, YouTube, Discord, Spotify, and more. And there's a ton of customization that you can do with it. I personally like this, not for my business grade automations, but just for those simple automations that I don't wanna to have to think about on a day-to-day -day basis. If I'm getting low on a particular food, well, remind me that it's been two weeks since I last bought milk, so I should probably add that to my grocery list. Or automatically start to create a grocery list based on how long it's been since I have ordered a particular item of food or based on the use, those sort of things. Small things in your day-to-day -day life that you know take up space in your brain without you really realizing it. And just like these other automation tools, they have a free plan, which only allow you to do two automations at a time. But if you pay for their more premium plan, you would typically expect to be using it for personal use anyway, as opposed to business. It's the simplest on the list, but any automation tool that can save me time is something that's valuable and worth putting on here. And there we go, automate, delegate, eliminate. If you can put as many things into that automation category as physically possible, the time you're gonna be saving is gonna be astronomical when compounded over the long term. I like saving time, you like saving time, and hopefully with these AI automation tools that I've gone over today, you are gonna be saving yourself a lot more time, compounded over the long term. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh Mountain, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.